Hey there guys, Zach here for Windows Central and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 17618. This build is one of the first Redstone 5 builds. The last Redstone 5 build was 17604 but we didn't do a video on it because there was basically nothing in it. Uh, so today's video is about one new feature because that's the only new feature that's really available in this build and that is sets. Now sets was in testing throughout Redstone 4 uh, in some of the builds but since sets was never destined for Redstone for Microsoft actually pulled that feature towards the end of Redstone 4 development uh, but now they've put it back in Redstone 5 and in this build it is now working for those in the skip ahead ring uh, and it's also improved slightly as well so it has a couple of new additions and it looks a little bit better and all of that stuff uh, so yeah let's take a look okay so diving straight in if you open up an app here you'll see that at the top of the app you'll see a tabbed browsing UI this is the same tabbed UI found in Microsoft Edge except now it works across apps as well so this is the mail app as you can see here and next to it is the set tabs aside icon which isn't for setting tabs aside anymore it's for restoring tabs that you had open in a previous session which kind of works in conjunction with timeline and stuff which is pretty nice but yes at the top of this UI you get tabs and you've got the plus button which takes you to Microsoft Edge now except the Microsoft Edge start page is slightly different it's no longer just for websites it also lists local apps as well so what we can do here is search for an app in this case i'm going to open up the microsoft word mobile app and now you can see that app running alongside the other apps in this same tabbed window i can switch between them much like you would expect and i can even go to the plus button and launch a website and that's the beauty of sets with sets you have apps and websites running under the same tabbed experience so you can restore an entire session that has websites and apps open if you like uh, and also switch between them with ease just like this i can close apps here I can go to Outlook Mail I can click on something in here which will open up in another tab uh, alongside Windows Central which is a website and I can just switch between them with ease it's exactly like you would expect and along the taskbar as you can see here the apps do open in separate icons still so it's not one icon on the taskbar you can still switch between all these open tabs on the taskbar as separate apps so that experience doesn't change it's just that at the top of apps now you get the tabbed experience which which sort of merges all of the apps together which I think is very exciting so let's open, up, let's open up another app here. Let's open up the settings app. Uh, and if you want to turn off uh, sets, you can do so because it is quite buggy in this build. And as such, it may not be suitable for everybody at this time. Uh, but if you go into system here and go down to multitasking, you'll find that there is a checkbox, which you, if you untick it, it will just turn off sets. And once you restart your PC, all of the windows will behave much like you would expect without the tabbed browsing experience on top. Now, interestingly, Sets finally works in some Win32 apps in this build. It works in File Explorer, so tabs are now finally available in File Explorer, uh, as well as Notepad and a couple of other sort of legacy Win32 programs. Over time, Microsoft expects to add more support for Win32 programs, but as of right now in this build, File Explorer and a couple of inbox Win32 programs are the only ones that support it. Of course, all of the UWP apps support it as well, um, but so far for Win32, it's File Explorer and a couple of the other inbox Win32 programs which is fine for this initial preview build um so yeah file explorer now has sets except it's not really it's not really it sets is a universal feature that works across all apps and stuff so uh, it's not it's not specific to file explorer and as such file explorer doesn't really tap into sets very well yet so i can open a new tab but it doesn't exactly open a new file explorer for example i have to go into the new tab experience type file explorer and then hit enter except in this build it opens up in a new window which is kind of annoying and you also can't open up new folders in new tabs just yet either it just opens up in the same window which is you know most of the time fine but then for those of you who want to open it in a new tab for example that feature isn't there yet i'm sure over time they'll add it but for now um yeah sets it just works across uh, all of the universal windows platform apps some of the win32 apps and eventually office win32 as well and it already works in office mobile obviously since that's a uwp app uh, but for office um uh, Win32, it doesn't work just yet. So there you have it, guys. That's a quick look at build 17618. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye. Hey there, guys. Zach here for Win. Thank you, Cortana. I can't get to the no. I... Right Check your connection or try again in a little bit. Hey there, guys. Zach here. I can't get to the <laughs> That's because, Cortana, I am uh, not even saying your name, so shush. 